Hey, welcome! It's the Tech for All channel and my favorite drone of the year so far. This is the Box 3 Pro. Any surprises with great quality and outstanding performance? Let's check it out! That's a great performing drone and it can easily become one of the best sellers of 2018. It's manufactured by the Chinese company MJX and they already have a few models released so far in 2018. Most of them we have already reviewed on the channel uh, because that's where we review Cooltech. The good benefit is that you're getting a lot of enhancements at pretty much last year's price tag. And for MJX as a company we can see that it's getting more mature, it's going into higher-end devices and the great news is that apparently the company is listening to their community and implementing part of the feedback. In terms of functionality, the Bucks 3 Pro is far from what a DJI drone would provide, but with a few modifications you may get reasonably good footage from a drone which costs less than $200. The price very much depends on the package that you purchase. The most basic version, with just one battery, no camera, is around 150. You might find it on sale or with a cap and code, but it's gonna be somewhere around that range. You could of course go higher, purchasing one or two extra batteries and this optional FPV camera, which you can attach to the drone and connect. It's designed to control it. Uh, it can stream to your smartphone in real time, 720p, and can record in full HD and getting the full pack is gonna cost you at the moment around $230. Let us unbox first and we'll talk about the details later on. For those of you who are unaware of the Bus 3, it was a revolutionary drone launched at around $100 with brushless motors and capability for carrying an action camera. The Bus 3 Pro is improved. Apparently the design is much different to what we remember from the original Bucks 3. Quite honestly, when looking at the online photos, I thought of an old-school looking drone and in reality it is beautiful. All white body with red straps, the front side is not as aggressive looking as the previous models and the plastic feels much more solid. Perhaps not as flexible as the one used in the original B3 frame, but this certainly looks to be much more shock resistant. Another big change is the battery. Right now it's just below 300 milliamp hours, which according to MJX should be good for around 20 minutes of flight time. And that of course is without any cameras. Should you use the FPV camera, maybe that's gonna go like uh, four to five minutes less. And if you have a heavier action camera. I remember that the low battery indicator was triggering at about um, 12, maybe 13 minutes, which still is a reasonably good time. The motors are a bit wider and more powerful. Maximum speed is up to 10 meters per second and everything is being operated at 7.4 volts by the dual cell battery mentioned. I think going to a three cell battery may enable carrying of a gimbal and I will probably try that at some point to see if it makes sense but if there is an MJX model that can do it the Bucks 3 Pro seems to be the most suitable one. The props are white, self-tightening, there's a well-designed transmitter. It's the same as the transmitter included with the B5W packaging. So if you break it or lose it, it is easy to purchase a new one. There is integrated telemetry, a feature which informs you in real time about the distance between the takeoff point and the current position of the aircraft. And it is assisted by the embedded GPS. So yeah, the B3 Pro does have a GPS too. A bit of handwork necessary for the landing gear, 
make sure to have the skids on, especially if your intention is to fly with a camera. Otherwise, the cam will be too exposed and very easy to damage. There is a camera frame included and it is designed to fit most of the budget action cameras. It's not suitable for GoPro Hero 5 and 6 series. However, other popular cams such as Firefly 8 SE, the IT5E, Acaso V50 Pro, the old SJ4000 by SJ Cam, they are going to fit. And a slight modification, and I was able to place the SJ8 Pro. And that was one of my main goals because it has significantly better stabilization than other camera models. If we have a closer look at the camera holder, that's another obvious upgrade from the original Bucks 3 Pro and it has dampers to reduce the vibrations. Overall, the Bucks series are anyways among the drones with the least vibrations, at least from the budget segment. But keeping these vibrations at the possible lowest level is always beneficial for getting better video quality. Let's talk about the performance now. Battery. Uh, this battery is unusually large for an MJX drone. This one has the capacity of 2800, which is gonna be good enough for around 20 minutes of flight time. The magic beep. Transmitter, it's bound. And now we have to do the calibration. Okay, um, we have to observe the LEDs as soon as they turn gray, uh, <laughs> as soon as they turn green, it's gonna be time for, yes, tuning the camera upwards, another few rounds, and we're ready to fly. We gotta wait for GPS signal now, and I can already connect to the drone's Wi-Fi. I started this video with sharing my positive experience and I will confirm it again this drone is perhaps the nicest surprise of the year first of all the design is in fact beautiful and the perception is quite different to the one that you get by the product photos secondly MJX have placed a huge amount of engineering feels like an entirely different model and almost nothing to do with the construction and the build quality of the original Bucks 3 it has now a hot swappable battery, extended range, uh, supports higher flying speeds, uh, altitude hold, has an embedded GPS, the safe return to home function and even the possibility to run an FPV camera. And I think the nicest upgrades from all of that is the feeling that you're going to get when you're flying. And I'm gonna call that a confidence because that's exactly what describes the feeling when you're flying with the Bucks 3. Confidence, because besides being stable, you have a lot of supporting systems. Altitude hold keeps it at a certain height level and you have greater freedom for planning your route. The GPS lock helps to keep it steady and you can leave the drone without active control for a few seconds and it's gonna maintain its position. And the GPS availability gives you a lot of additional advantages like Waypoints, which by the way work only with the FPV camera that you have to purchase additionally. You have the option for using return to home, which again is based on the GPS. It's very reliable and brings the drone back to its takeoff position. Also, should you lose range or if the battery level goes down, uh, the drone will automatically trigger return to home. Probably that's the reason why the drone has no embedded beeper because the assumption is that it's not easy to lose and it's quite safe for flying. Wrapping up today's review with the battery life, around 17 minutes and a half without any camera, but I wasn't waiting until the battery was entirely empty. Uh, with an action camera, and I was using the SJ8 Pro, which is a bit heavier than most of the action cameras, uh, it was flying for about 14 minutes. Around 15, it, uh, it was capable of providing with the uh, C6000 FPV camera that you can buy from MJX. So overall battery life is not 
bad. And I believe this 20 minute flight time would be achievable if there is not too much wind outside. Uh, overall, I was really pleased to fly the Bucks 3 Pro. In my opinion, it's a worthy upgrade to last year's uh, Bucks 3 series and probably it's going to be my favorite drone of 2018. What do you think? Um, do you believe that this slight price increase is justified by all the new features that are now included? I'll be looking forward to read about your opinion in the comment section below the video. Check some of the other content on the channel, uh, fly responsibly, and I'll make sure to see you soon. Bye!